Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Today I'm going to show you how to disable game optimization service on Samsung smartphone. First, you search for this NetGuard uh, app in Play Store and install it. Then you open the app, go to Settings, Advanced Options, and select Manage System Apps because the apps we are going to block are all system apps. Then we search for the keyword Game. There are three apps we want to disable. One is Game Optimization Service, another is Game Booster, and Game Launcher as well. For Game Booster Plus and Game Plugins, uh, I think they, that they don't really matter, but uh, to be safe here, I just uninstall them because they are not system apps, so uh, you can just uninstall them. But for the three apps we are going to block, they are system apps, so just click these two buttons here to block them from accessing the internet. And then you press the button on the top left corner to make sure that NetGuard is enabled. Then you just uh, accept all the promotes and uh, until you see this key in your status bar. That means it's running. The next step we are going to do is we go to the settings of these apps. You can actually directly go there from within the NetGuard, which is very convenient. Go to storage and clear data for all three apps. The rationale is that the game optimization service actually download a full list of uh, app signatures from Samsung server when it's running in the background and it will throttle according to this list of app names. So. We block them from accessing the internet so they cannot download the app name list and then we clear the app data to remove any already downloaded app name list so that the game optimization service does not know which apps to throttle. And finally, turn off your Wi-Fi or data and anything and restart your phone. This is because we want to make sure we run the NetGuard app before the game optimization service can auto start from background. Uh, when the device first boots up, right? So turn off your internet. So even the game optimization service boot up, it won't be able to download anything. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is to turn on the net graph to make sure that they are blocked. And then we can turn on the Wi-Fi. Here you can see I just uh, switch on the toggle again just to make sure. And then you will be able to see this notification in your uh, notification panel, right? That means the NetGuard is already working to block the, the internet access and now you can turn on your Wi-Fi and uh, you can continue to play your games without game optimization service. And next, I'll show you how much a difference it makes to actually turn on and off the game optimization service. Okay, so here is my Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's the Snapdragon version. Of course, I'll test the Exynos version later on in another video maybe. But here, this is just to show you how much of a difference the game optimization service actually makes, right? So the one on the left is with game optimization service on, and uh, one on the right is with it off. Okay, so first thing you notice is how much smoother the one on the right is and this is confirmed by the FPS reading as well. We are seeing something around 50 just now. At the beginning, we even had 60. On the other hand, on the left, we can see if we leave game optimization service on, the FPS is only around 30 to 40. Maybe at most it can reach 40 something, but most of the time it's from 30 to 40, right? This also was confirmed by our previous test, where if you play for 10 minutes, the average FPS is only around 32. So that's a clear difference in terms of frame rate, but we also see another difference in power consumption. If you look at the power consumption on the right, it's much higher than the one on the left. Okay, so higher performance requires higher power consumption, and this will result in more heat as well. Okay, so turning off game optimization service does not magically make your device uh, just better in every way, right? Yes, it can run the game smoother, but it will generate more heat and it will use more battery. And in the end, if your device becomes too hot, thermal throttling will still kick in and uh, it will still restrict your performance and your FPS will become lower as well. 
actually we are seeing that chart here right you'll notice that uh, uh, the one on the right has started to heat up and uh, throttle the fps starts to drop i mean it's still higher than the one on the left with gos on but that's physics you cannot change it your device heats up it has to throttle otherwise it will eventually melt or explode right but then this gives us more possibility if you use a cooler or if you are just staying at a cooler place and i think in that case your game will run much smoother and that was not possible with gos on and here we can use this uh, cpu float to understand this issue more clearly uh, if you look at the cpu gpu frequency you can see that with gos on the cpu is restricted to a very low frequency no matter what you do the frequency won't go up and it's the same story for gpu with gos on the gpu frequency actually max it out at around 300 megahertz while with gos off it can actually reach around 500 megahertz right and then the power consumption is very different as well with gos on it's only about 1200 ma but with gos off we see that the current can go up to 2000 milliampere right so lastly we can see the performance comparison the fps record with gos on and off we can see that's a very clear difference with gos off we get uh, more than 10 fps uh, more and the game indeed run much smoother and then for power we see that the power consumption is also much higher right we see an overall more than 50 percent power consumption increase and especially for the first two minutes when the device has not started to throttle um, the average power may be even more than 8 watts which is pretty high and we see this gradual throttling pattern as we see from other devices so uh, but if we have GOS on, the power is restricted to a very low level, even from the beginning. So we don't see any change in power consumption. There is no throttling at all because it started with a low performance. All right, guys, so that's all for today's video. And I have to say that I took the inspiration from a Korean channel. And uh, I'll leave the link down below. If you understand Korean, you can go check out. So I think he actually invented this uh, blocking the internet access method. So I just uh, took it and uh, I use um, maybe a, a better a free software to do this. And uh, to be honest, this method for now is still pretty tedious and uh, it's not really that practical. Uh, but of course, I'll try to do more tests on this and uh, we are all waiting for the system update from Samsung uh, Who actually promised to fix the issue, right? So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time